Who needs a dinette and a travel trailer when you can have a freestanding table instead? Stick around, folks. We found some awesome travel trailers with no dinette. You're going to want to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get into our reviews of travel trailers with no dinettes. This travel trailer is the StarCraft Autumn Ridge model number 20 FBS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,595 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,405 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds. It measures in at 23 feet, 8 inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you walk into the back of this travel trailer, you walk right into the kitchen area and the living area. As you swing around, the front of the camper is where the bedroom is located. And we'll take a look at the bathroom last, which is also all the way in the back of this trailer. So here I am walking in through the exterior door, which is located all the way in the back of this trailer. My first impression is that it feels big and roomy in here. Now you'll notice just to my left is where the refrigerator is located. And this fridge is a good size fridge for a camper that this it's this size. It's got a separate freezer up top. So very, very nice setup there. And just to the left of the refrigerator is where you have a couple of pantry cabinets. So just to my right here is where the kitchen is located. And up top here, you've got some really nice sized storage cabinets up here. There's no shelving in here, which for a cabinet this size is a shame because it could use a little shelf in there and then you can store more stuff. Next to that, you have a microwave oven. Down below that, you've got your range hood and a three burner stove. And then next to that, we have a really, really nice size, big single bowl sink. It's got a gooseneck faucet overhead. The only thing it's missing is a little sprayer, but honestly, I think you could do fine with just the way this is. Down below that, we've got some drawers for all your kitchen utensil storage. And then there's even a nice big cabinet underneath the sink as well. Finally, right next to that, we have a real oven in here, which is great. If you guys are into pizza as much as I am. Now, just past the kitchen, you have even more countertop space. But I think that the idea here is this is more a part of your living space. That's why the backsplash ends and then the regular wall is above this part. So uh, you've got a nice big countertop space. You've got your radio controls up top, a little bit of storage up there as well. And then this is where your TV would mount to the wall, which, by the way, I think is a very good location because it's directly across from the sofa area and you can also see it from your bed very, very easily. Now, down below all of this, there's also a couple more ca uh, cabinet doors with more storage underneath. Now, just past the living and TV area is where the bedroom's located in here. This is a good size bed. Let's see how big it is exactly. It is about 74 inches by 60 inches. So we have a short queen bed in here. You'll also notice that you've got some open storage overhead. I'm not really a big fan of this. I'm afraid if you put stuff up here, it would fall out while you're driving down the road. But you could always buy like some cargo netting or something and install that yourself after the fact and that'll help keep things from falling out. Now on each side, you've also got a very large wardrobe cabinet. I mean, these things are at least three feet deep uh, on both sides of the bed. So lots of room to hang up your garments and such. And then underneath, you've got a reading light above and then you have two really large nightstands. So you folks with a CPAP machine, this would be perfect. Uh, there's also a receptacle on each side, so you can plug in, you can recharge your phones, computers, whatever you need, uh, and be in good shape. Now down below this bed, there's also some storage space, and that's where the dinette table stows away as well. So here I am on the couch in here, and it's very, very comfortable, and it feels roomy in here. There's a couple things I really like. First of all, this couch is in a slide out, so it creates extra floor, uh, floor space inside the camper, so it feels really large. And speaking of the floor, I really like the brown and gray tone floor that they have in here. A lot of campers today just have the gray floor and it looks kind of 
I don't know, generic, but this gives it a really, really nice feel. I really think that's a nice touch. Now the sofa here is very, very comfortable. And as I mentioned earlier, it's directly across from where the TV would mount on the wall, which is right behind where Susan is shooting right now. So everything's in a very good location. Now there is no dinette table, but we just showed you that the dinette stows under the master bed. You could set that up here and then this becomes your dinette area. So it's a sofa. It is your dinette area, and finally, it does become another bed, and it just jackknifes right out. And if you go ahead and jackknife it, this bed becomes uh, about 68 inches by about 40 inches. So, you know, maybe a kid or a smaller individual will be able to sleep here very comfortably. So here I am in the bathroom in the very back of this camper, and I like the way they've used the space in here. It's not that big of a bathroom, but I think the space is used very well. First of all, it's got this corner style shower with the glass doors on it, and I think it's just a great setup. There's plenty of room in here, and you don't have a curtain and things like that in your way. Now, headspace wise, I'm 5'11", and over my head, outside of where the fan is, there's gosh what is that six feet three inches and inside where the fan is there's six feet five inches so you taller folks will be able to fit in here pretty well they also have a nice uh, enclosure in here with a couple of shelves for your shampoo and soap just outside the shower is where you'll find the medicine cabinet that opens up it's about five or six inches deep so there's some decent storage space in there you have a nice vanity with electrical receptor over top so you can plug in your hair dryer or your shaver or whatever and then finally you've got a little bit of storage down below the sink so you'll notice like over my shoulder here there's even more open storage in the bathroom here you could put toilet paper linens towels whatever you're going to have but there's no doors or anything to hold that stuff in so again if you're traveling down the road it's probably all going to fall out you would definitely need to buy some cargo netting or maybe even install your own cabinet doors on top of this to be able to hold all of your stuff inside. Uh, I'm sitting on the commode right now. I'm definitely not going to pass the elbow test in this one, but there's so much space in front of me here that I don't feel cramped at all. One more really great feature in this camper is all the way towards the front, you've got this pass-through storage space with lots of storage. This travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine AIM model number 16ML. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,768 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,027 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 4,795 pounds. It measures in at 28 feet long and it can sleep four people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side, you've got a nice big bed located there. Then we wrap around to your sofa area. Then you wrap into your kitchen. And finally, in the back of this travel trailer, a full width bathroom. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into the living and the bedroom area. Now, I know some of you folks don't always like walking in and having your bed right here. The only advantage to it, or one big advantage to it, is that your bed is always made and in place. You don't have to worry about it being a Murphy bed and the covers coming off when it goes up and down and all that stuff. So it's really, I think, in the best location as far as this camper. And as far as the size of it, it's 80 inches by, it's got to be 60 inches. It is. So it's a full residential style queen sized bed in here. You'll also notice that there are a couple of reading lights over top, plus a dome light for even more light. You've got plenty of storage up above that for all of your clothes. There's also a cubby located down here, which has a receptacle, a USB port and a C port. So no matter what kind of device you have, you're gonna be able to charge it up while you're sleeping at night. Just to next to me here is where there's a very large wardrobe closet. It's probably about three feet deep, a couple of drawers down below that, and there's an additional electrical receptacle down below as well. Two more really nice features about the bed area is underneath on the inside of the camper, you've got three cabinets that you can open up, lots of storage under there, and the one is even perfect for shoe storage. And then outside, there's pass-through storage at the very front that runs all the way under the bed from one side of the camper to the other. So here I am at the sofa, dinette, 
and extra bed location inside this RV. And I love the fact that it's multifunctional, right? You can use this area for three different uses. I also like the fact that it's in a slide out. So it does give you just a little bit more floor space inside of here. And it does feel a little bigger that way. Now this has a freestanding table that you can fold up and put away or you can also even use it outside if you'd like, but it gives you a lot of versatility. Uh, this is your dinette table when you wanna sit here and have a meal. When you're not having a meal, you can put the table away or do whatever you'd like and just use it as a sofa. And then finally, Grand Design does a nice job with their easy rollout sofa and this becomes a spot for a third person to sleep. Now it's not really big, it's about 42 inches wide but it's only about, gosh, a little less than 60 inches long. So, you know, a, a kid could sleep here pretty comfortably and be fine. Um, but one other thing to note about the sofa is that it does have this fold down piece in the center. You got a couple of cup holders in here so you can relax and sit here and watch TV, which is located directly across from the sofa. One more really nice feature about this sofa is that it has two very large drawers underneath for even more storage space. So here I am in the kitchen area, and as I mentioned, the TV is directly across from the sofa, so it's in a perfect location. You could also lay in bed and very easily see the TV from there as well. Now this is what we would call an L-shaped kitchen, and what I mean by that is that it just goes along and makes an L, and then across from that is where your refrigerator is located. Now, starting up top, we talked about the TV already. It's even got some open storage underneath. You can put your remotes and things up there so you don't lose them. Then you have a lot of really large storage cabinets overhead. And then we wrap on around to where the kitchen sink is located. Now, this is a really neat sink setup. It's a big round bowl but the faucet actually folds up or down and you can close the lid and have even more countertop space in here. As we wrap on around, we've got a two burner stove in here with a microwave convection oven underneath. And then there's plenty of drawer space in here for all of your kitchen utensils and also your pots and pans. Now the refrigerator is located right across from the kitchen sink and before we go into the bathroom, we'll take a look at that last. You've got a very, very large storage cabinet over top of the fridge. It's probably two feet by two feet. The refrigerator itself opens right up, good amount of space in there. And then it has a pull out drawer for the freezer down below. Now the bathroom in here is located all the way in the back of the camper and it extends from side to side. So it's a very good size bathroom for a smaller camper. Now I'm standing in the shower like I usually am and the headroom in here is, gosh, that's about six feet, six inches of headroom inside the shower. So that's really a good amount of space in here. You'll also notice that it's got three shelves or corner shelves, I should say, where you can put your soap and shampoo. It's got a detachable wand. And finally, it's got a retractable shower door so you don't have a curtain blowing in on you. Now here I am on the other side of the bathroom and Susan standing in the shower. So everybody say hi to Susan, there she is. Uh, you'll notice up here, there's a very large medicine cabinet with a mirror door and then the other half is just for storage. This cabinet is about 12 inches deep, by the way, so plenty of storage space up top. You'll also notice that there's a very large countertop here around your vanity sink. And then there's also a couple of drawers down below for even more storage. So here I am on the commode. And even when this pocket door is in the closed position, there is plenty of elbow room and it fully passes the test. Finally outside, there's a pull out griddle with a quick connect propane connection down below. So you can do all your outside cooking. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Mini model number 2327TB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,932 pounds, a very impressive cargo carry capacity of 2,868 pounds, probably because it has dual axles, and an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 8,800 pounds. It measures in at 27 feet, one inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the left hand side is a huge bathroom that wraps around into the living area and then the kitchen and then behind me here is the owner's bedroom. Now when you first walk into this travel trailer my first thought is man this looks comfortable and big. 
I really like the feel when you first walk in here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is on the right-hand side, there is a huge storage closet. And it's got a couple of shelves in here, three shelves to be exact, a couple of coat hooks. So you have plenty of room to store things, put your coats up, kick your shoes in there, whatever you'd like to do. Now, right around the corner from the big coat closet is where the entertainment center is located. You get a nice big TV here. You've got some storage up and above the TV as well. Then down below the TV, you have all your radio controls, some open storage, and also plenty of other storage down there as well. Now, this is perfect location because right across from that is where your recliners are located. They put these little cups in here as props. I sure wish I had a drink in one of them. But anyway, these are nice, comfy reclining seats in the middle here. We have this in our Class A RV. It's, this armrest kicks up. We have all of our remote controls in here. TVs, the Sony DVD player, the fireplace, everything. Just a great place to hide your remote controls. Uh, now, one thing to note about this location is that the um, recliners and the refrigerator are all in a slide out so this whole area slides out and that's really what makes it feel so large in here it really gives you the extra floor space in here that you need so it feels big and comfortable now you may ha also have noticed that there's no dinette in here and that's because your theater seats also serve as your dinette there is a separate table that connects to a bracket that fits on this piece right here. And so your table will sit right in front of you. Uh, it's not a bad setup. I wish that they had a freestanding table though, and here's why. What we have found is the tables that fit into this bracket, they do tend to wobble a little bit uh, because they're only supported from one spot in the middle of the table and the table can teeter a little bit back and forth. The other issue is it's hard to get up or get into your seat once the table's in place. So we would prefer to see a freestanding table. You can move it around inside your camper. You can take it outside and use it out there if you'd like. It just provides a little more versatility. The kitchen area here is just past the entertainment center. And up top here, we have a microwave convection oven. So that's really fantastic. Then we have lots of storage up top. And I gotta tell you, I really like the way these cabinet knobs are. They aren't mounted on the door. They're mounted on the bottom of the cabinet. And what I find is that my fingers never touch the cabinet. I just reach for this little black part here and open and close where if, if the knob was on the door, my fingers might hit the door. I might touch the door more with my hands, but these knobs are really nice. I think they're out of the way. Um, below that, we have a nice big sink here with a gooseneck faucet. Now they have all their sales material out, so I'm not gonna pick it all up and move it around. But you also have extra countertop space. You've got a receptacle here if you wanna plug in your coffee uh, pot or toaster. And then of course, uh, you've got a three burner propane stove here as well. Now under the propane stove, you have a large drawer for pots and pans. And then below that, that's actually where your fuse panel is located. And by the way, if you don't already, I recommend you keep a whole bunch of fuses on board your RV. Um, you can buy a multi-pack at Home Depot or any auto parts store, but trust me, they do come in handy every now and then. It's good to keep them on board. Finally, underneath the kitchen sink, uh, the doors open up and there's a little bit of storage under there. But one thing I want to note is that the two-tone cabinetry in here is also very, very nice. You've got your black matte cabinetry down below, and then you've got your sort of natural wood tone up above. I just think it really feels a little more residential and high end. Now, right across from the kitchen sink and range and all that good stuff is where the refrigerator is located. This refrigerator has a separate freezer that's very large and the refrigerator is also a great size. This happens to be a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's gonna run on shore power or battery power. It doesn't need propane at all. Uh, it also has a compressor in it, so that compressor will help cool your refrigerator much more efficiently and much more quickly. And then right next to the refrigerator, we have these very nice pantry cabinets, so you have plenty of storage for all your dry goods. One other nice feature is at the very end, there's a bank of drawers here for all your kitchen utensils. So here I am in the owner's bedroom and it's a great size bedroom. Now the first thing you'll notice in here is that we have twin beds in here. And for those of you 
who like to sleep in your own bed, don't want to run into your partner all night long and get the elbow and the ribs, this is a great setup. The size of these beds look to be uh, 74 inches by about 32 inches, so not too bad at all. Now, if you don't want to have a twin bed setup, you can actually create one giant king size bed in here and um, there's actually storage underneath of this bed you can move this top piece of wood into position pull the cushions out and make a nice big king size bed in here the advantage to that is you have a much larger bed maybe you like to sleep together um, the disadvantage is that you can only get in and out of your bed from the end uh, where when you have twin beds, each person could get up in the middle of the night if they'd like to and use the restroom, hopefully without disturbing the other person. So just depends on what your lifestyle is and how you like to do things. Now, the next thing to note in here is the immense amount of storage that's in this bedroom. These storage cabinets are huge, very, very spacious. They wrap all the way around in a U shape in here. So there's plenty of storage overhead. And then just to your right, my left, there's a little countertop in here and there's additional storage down below that. Now on this side of the bedroom, this is also where you would mount your TV. There's already a receptacle and cable rough in provided. You can mount your TV and be able to watch TV before you fall asleep at night. One more thing to note, and this is really a, just a nice decorative feature is this storage for open storage. There's also a receptacle and USB port on each end so you can charge your tablet, your phone, whatever you need each evening. Now, in addition to the overhead storage, we have storage down below too, and this drawer pulls out from one side of the twin bed setup. So there's even more space there, but that's not all. Just inside the bedroom door, we haven't covered this yet, but there's a nice wardrobe closet up top with a bar so you can hang all your garments up there. And then down below that, there's additional storage with a shelf in place. Now here I am in the bathroom, which is all the way at the back of this travel trailer, but it's where near where the door is when you first walk in. Uh, this is a huge bathroom. I mean, it runs the entire width of the travel trailer and it's just a very, very good, comfortable size in here. Now I'm standing up in the shower. You guys know I'm 5'11". There's maybe an inch over my head to the regular roof part of this RV, but in the skylight area, there's a little more space in there for you and that measures up at about six feet four inches so for you taller guys you have a little headroom in here as well now the surround in here is very very nice it's a molded plastic it's got three corner shelves built in so you can store your soap and shampoo and then it's got a little wand that you can pull off the wall to shower up it also comes with a retractable shower door which is a very nice feature now here I am on the other side of the bathroom and Susan's standing in the shower and you can just see how nice and big this feels. You have a big medicine cabinet over, over top with a few shelves in there for storage. Down below that you have all this countertop space around your vanity sink. You've also got a receptacle here so you can plug in a hair dryer or shaver or what have you. And then there's additional storage below the bathroom sink as well. And then off to the right of that, we've got open storage from top to bottom. It's about two feet deep. You can store linens, towels, all kinds of things in here. And finally, here I am on the commode and there's just so much room in here, it's ridiculous. I can absolutely pass the elbow tests. Now that you've had a chance to check out all three of these travel trailer floor plans with no dinette, let us know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and why. And if you'd like to see even more travel trailers with no dinettes, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.